Oh, here goes nothing. I know what I did wrong this week. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so exciting, especially near the holidays. Hello, Grandma DC here. It's morning. Good morning. Oh, it seems like a long week. I know I did a video on like, you know, Tuesday, I think I uploaded one, but man, it seems like forever. It is Sunday, November, what, 16th? Somewhere around there. Uh, 2019, in case this is on later. My hair is a mess. I washed it last night and uh, I had it up all night and now it's all tank. Oh. Yes, I should cut it. I know this because you should cut your hair. Old ladies shouldn't have long hair. Well, remember, guys, this is what reminds me to stay single and happy. <laughs> I'm always like, this is my stay celibate and happy hair. Okay. Oh, that was a shocker. Um, I could not believe I lost a pound. And let me tell you why. It's the holidays, guys, and yes, I've been doing a little bit of holiday baking. Basically, I've been into cheesecakes. Last night, I had a dream about um, how to make a pecan pie. Well, I blame that on highfalutin, low carb, <laughs> and the Keto Connect kids, because I was watching their pecan pie recipes, and I'm like, yeah, I had that idea. Yeah, I thought about do you know trying it that way, but... I've just never been impressed with, you know, the way sugar-free stuff doesn't give you that gooey like you want. And then last night I was dreaming about how to do it, and I thought, I should give that a try. However, the cost of pecans, <laughs> oh, and I thought, and there's nothing new in this world. Somebody has to have a great recipe out there somewhere, right, in the keto land. So this brings me to my discussion about how do you get through the holidays on the carnivore diet. I'm wearing my meat heels. Uh, and I had a lot of thoughts this week I wanted to share with you as a matter of fact. So let's get to that. One thing I wanted to, to share with you was uh, a lot of you have messaged me and you're like, it's just, you know, it's near the holidays. I had a cheat. Uh, food addiction is no joke. Um, and the holidays are so hard and everyone shares their favorite recipes socially as a matter of fact mother just had a little uh, soiree with her uh, ladies club and everybody brought their favorite holiday goodie and shared their recipe and I thought see food is so social you know uh, I think my daughter even vlogged a new donut shop opened <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh boy you know and then there's those of us that that sort of stuff is just, it's like saying to a drug addict, guess what, there's a free cocaine shop right next door, <laughs> or a really cheap one, right? You know how addicted I am, Scud, don't you? Mm, he says yes, and luckily now mommy gives me some of the goodies, not the sugar-free stuff. Yeah, sometimes he gets it when it falls on the floor. Oh my gosh, you know, there's nothing to say about it, but it's hard. And there's nothing to say about, but you're going to slip. Probably. I mean, there are some superhumans out there, of which I am not one. Okay? Oh, I'm getting bumped. All right, I'm trying to drink my coffee and do a vlog. Skender, what is your problem? Pay attention to me, Mom. Pay attention to me. You're talking to yourself again, Grandma. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm not one. I slip up. Um, as a matter of fact, I slipped up this week. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to get the business into this dog and just hold him here. Are you going to let me vlog? I don't know. We may have to stop this and come back when he is less full of piss and vinegar. Are you full of piss and vinegar? Mm. So, Back to the discussion of having no willpower. <laughs> That's me. Scud has no uh, physical control and I have no willpower. But the carnivore diet has certainly helped me so much with my willpower. And that's the thing that's amazing about the diet. There's two things, three things. There's a lot of things amazing about the carnivore diet uh, for me. Uh, this, 
first being that it has helped me have willpower, which I never had in my life. And I don't know how to describe that. It's almost like a chemical change in the brain. And let me just describe it this way because it's the easiest way to understand it. And I know everybody's going to misunderstand this, but food is not good anymore. <laughs> it's like seven and a half months of this and steak sucks. Meat sucks. Cheese, eh. <laughs> you know. You get to where you eat it and you have a little and you just get nauseated. Let me give you an example. I had a huge cheat this week. Um, I should have vlogged about it, but I was too sick to vlog about it. And that's the truth. We went to a Chinese restaurant. I have been eating meat and fat primarily, you know, for seven months. And I had one cheat that I ate a thin, thin, thin crust pizza. And I got away with it. I don't know how. And I didn't have too much pain. And then in the early part, around three months in, I had had another cheat. I can't remember what it was. And I went into massive pain. Then I didn't cheat anymore. And I mean pain in my joints. If you haven't been watching, you know my doctor wanted to give me uh, shots in my hips because I had sacroiliitis of some sort. And um, you know, cortisone shots would have just made it worse. That's how I found the anti-inflammatory carnivore diet and why I started it. The weight loss has been a bonus, a big bonus. Because I just wanted to get to where I could walk. I don't talk about pain anymore. You know why? About the last two months, I haven't had a lot. And it always throws me every time I get out of my car and walk across the parking lot into Walmart, even though my hip doesn't operate the way it should, I, I have a little bit of an of a odd walk or a limp because my hip doesn't really swivel, there's no actual pain. And I quit doing CBD oil and I quit the Moringa powder, which was getting me by before. That's how powerful this diet has been for me. Uh, I can't even describe that. I'm off of my depression meds. And every day, you know, gets better and better. It took half a year. I mean, really. But every day, I don't miss them. I don't think about killing myself. You know, I mean, this has been a miracle diet for me. For me. And I sure hope it helps someone else out there. That's why I share all of this. Anyway, where were we with, oh, the willpower. So we went to, uh, you yeah, know, it's me. I slip around. I always get back to what I was talking about. We went to a Chinese restaurant, Mom, Pam, and I, this week. A real full-fledged one, not a Mongolian. And Mom's like, was craving Chinese. And you know, it's one of my favorite things. And so I said, I'll, you know what? I haven't had a full-blown, just, I'm going to eat carbohydrates cheat day. I'm going to do it. To heck with it, it's the holidays, I'm going to gain weight anyway, so, you know, it's inevitable. Why not give in? Just try to keep it as small as possible. And I went in and I picked out the meat. But you know the sauces have thickeners and sugars and soy sauce and carbohydrates out the yin-yang in those sauces. I mean, there's no getting around that. But there was the broccoli beef. So I picked out mostly beef pieces and I like two pieces of broccoli because I actually like cooked broccoli when it's cooked in sugar and soy sauce and all of that stuff, you know, <laughs> or has cheese slathered all over it. So I did that. I also, uh, there was chicken with jalapenos. Now I happen to really like jalapenos. I have put them on my meat before along with pickles, ones that are pickled. These were whole, raw, real jalapenos that had been sliced up and cooked. They weren't pickled. Then I went and got some, um, that was chicken and, and uh, jalapenos. And then I went, and, oh, beef and onion and pepper. And I had a couple of peppers. Of, I, didn't, I don't think I had any onion in it. I mean, I did because the sauce. But And I picked out the pork. So here I had this big plate of meat. And they had just some meat meat, like a, a roast. So I picked up some of that. Went and sat down to eat. And I thought, this is my first plate. My first plate. Oh, it's going to be so tasty. Sure enough, it was very tasty. <laughs> Probably one of the better things I've put in my mouth since I went to the Mongolian restaurant and fixed my own. And I had about, I don't know, maybe seven bites. 
you know, going around the plate. I ate the broccoli piece, two broccoli pieces first. <laughs> and I ate the beef, and then I went and ate some of the pork, and I ate some of the chicken, and I ate some of the jalapenos. And I was just going along, and all of a sudden, after about, well, let's say even 10 bites, and I don't know if I got that far, my stomach started swelling. And I don't mean just a little. I mean like a balloon. It just, it got tight and tight, and it was as if I had eaten an entire 20-pound turkey, and it got to hurting, and I got nauseous. And mother's like, well, go to the bathroom and, you know, let off some air. <laughs> and I was like, that ain't it. it. It's not going down. And I couldn't burp. And I just sat there in horrible agony. And I couldn't take another bite. And I'm trying to analyze it. Because I still get this whole plate of food that I took, and I'm feeling awful because I hate to waste food. <laughs> so that's the way I was raised, right? Clean your plate. And I'm like in agony, and I, I just, I finally just said, I can't, I can't take one more bite. I can't do it. I, something's wrong. I absolutely cannot. It was almost like an allergic reaction. So I sat there and drank tea with artificial sweetener. They brought me a couple of glasses of tea, and I tried to, you know, wash it down or to filter it out or something. Hello, Angus. And... We left, and in about an hour, we went to uh, Walmart and went shopping. Uh, Pam and I took Mother to her, her thing. And it went, my stomach went down, and I felt better. And it wasn't gas. So I don't know what happened to me, but my body definitely showed me a reaction to the sugars, the soy sauce, the vegetable matter. Um, I'm just wondering if I don't have a huge allergy towards vegetables and just never knew it until I had cleansed my body enough by doing this, you know, kind of pure diet. And now every time I eat something that is inappropriate for me, my body just says, no, no, uh-uh, that ain't going to work. <laughs> so that was uh, something new I found out. I had someone message me and, uh, on Facebook, and she said, that she'd been on the carnivore diet a while and it wasn't working for her. She wasn't losing weight. Um, she didn't feel all that good. And, you know, she wanted to know how long to try it before she quit. Well, I'm sorry, honey, don't ask me. You know, everybody's different. You have to deal with your own body. My, my daughter's vegetarian and a carb burner. And I know a boy who does nothing but eat pasta all day long and stays skinny as a rail. You know everybody's different so you just have to find the diet that works for you I'm sharing this because everyone knows I've weighed up to 400 pounds before and I've dieted my whole life up and down and up and down and nothing ever worked and I, I'm food addicted and I couldn't resist the sweet stuff and I absolutely you know pastas and breads were my love of my life and and I found the carnivore diet, and it seems to have worked. I said I was going to try it for a year. I meant a year. I'm staying on a year. I'm committed to a year. And then come the holidays. Someone said, what are you going to do at the end of the year? Oh, well, hell, honey, I might not be alive. I don't plan that far ahead. Or when you're my age, don't plan uh, that far ahead, okay? <laughs> I said a year. I meant a year, but I didn't say I was going to make a year. I could fall over dead tomorrow. Who knows, right? And I know there's a lot of vegetarians out there going, I hope she does. <laughs> you know, she'll have a heart attack. Her arteries will clog. Truth is, I'm sorry guys, feeling pretty good on the carnivore diet. So, uh, yeah. But, as I shared, when I eat too much meat or too much fat or even a handful of nuts or anything, I, I have... I feel nauseated. That's how I know I'm full. That's my satiation line. <laughs> because I think all my life I never felt full and I never felt hungry. Uh, people would say, oh, I'm so hungry. And I always thought, hmm, I wonder what that feels like. Because I was eating all the time. But I was never full either. So when people would say, oh, gosh, whew, I'm so full, I'd be like, huh, I wonder what that feels like. I now know because of the carnivore diet. I now do get full feeling. I don't get hungry feelings, but I've never had them. So, you know, I can go a couple of days without eating and I don't feel 
hunger. My stomach doesn't growl. I don't feel anxious. Uh, other things people have described to me what hunger feels like. Um, I just don't feel it. it, and it's something wrong with me, I'm sure. So, uh, there was an, a question about that. You have to listen to your own body. You have to find what works for you. You know, try different things. I have tried it all. Vegan, vegetarian, raw vegan. I have all the books, <laughs> you know. I have all the books. And I've given a lot of them away. Taken them to the warm house. Diet, all my dieting recipe books and things. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But now I'm experimenting with some goodies. That brings me back to the holidays and the carnivore diet. Don't sweat, okay? You're not just going to go to somebody's house and eat the turkey. Or you could. Or you could eat just the, the ham. I will probably stick to those two items, mostly. And I plan on taking a cheesecake for my dessert. Uh, I might even take a pecan pie if I come up with a decent recipe. Although, I don't want to make any mistakes. I made a huge mistake with a cheesecake, as you know, and I had to throw it out. And I made another one, which is frozen, because it's too big. I'll probably end up throwing it out. And I made one the other night. It turned out perfect. I gave it to Debbie. I made another one with a Lily's chocolate top on it, and it turned out perfect. Except, instead of the caramel flavor I meant to put in it, I accidentally put cinnamon. Yeah, I didn't have my glasses on. When will I learn? <laughs> so it's a cinnamon chocolate. Hmm. Yeah, probably end up throwing that out. And it just wastes too much money, so <laughs> I may not take a dessert. I don't know. I do keep experimenting, don't I? When will I learn? Well, I won't. And I'm not going to give up, and that's what I keep telling people who call me up and say, when should I give up? And it's like, never. If the carnivore diet doesn't work for you, if it doesn't help with your pain, which is the number one, if it doesn't help with your depression, which is number two, and if you're not losing weight and you don't feel good on it, I don't mind being nauseated after I eat. I'm like, good, now I know I'm full. Why are you such an annoying guy? Ugh. Ah, hugs. Um... If it doesn't work for you, try something else, you know? You will eventually, and I hope sooner than I did, don't wait till you're old. Find something that makes you feel good, helps with all your issues, and if you lose weight, it's a bonus. <laughs> I may not stay this low. Like I said, it's the holidays, and I have two cheats coming up. I'll let you know how they affect me. Tomorrow's Monday, and we have a very fun day planned. It's a free ride to the Oklahoma border, free $10 and a free buffet at a casino. Mom and Pam and I are going. I'm going to enjoy the bus ride. I haven't got to ride a bus since I was a little kid and had to ride one two and a half hours every day to school and back. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking forward to that blast from the past, although I just hope that, you know, the old people don't throw things at me, like spit wads and stuff. Do they do that? I hope not. I hope we've outgrown that. And uh, I am hoping to have a little bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste a lot of money, guys. Don't worry about that. And if you would like to keep up with the insanity and see if how much weight I gain over the holidays, let me know. Don't sweat it. Just plan on the fact that it's probably going to happen. And if you manage to stay on your diet and it doesn't happen, woohoo! <laughs> we'll celebrate that after the new year. And start over. But just don't go hog wild, guys. I have that cheat plan because that's another buffet, although I might swell up again and just feel miserable. And on Mother's Birthday, on Thanksgiving, we're going to another buffet for Thanksgiving dinner. And I plan on trying some things, but I'm going to be really cautious, and if I start to swell up and hurting, yeah, back to the meat guys real fast. <laughs> all right. I love you all. I hope this has helped some of you in some way. I hope that my sharing uh, my funny diet and animals and ideas with you is helping and if it is and you would like to keep these videos coming and we will try a recipe eventually again. Um, 
please. You can donate on my, click on my funny face, go to my front page down the corner, donate to PayPal. I really appreciate every one dollar, every dollar really helps me keep making videos. I love you all. Thank you so much. Message me on Facebook and I'll try to get back to you. If you really have a question, I can answer, but mostly I'm kind of dumb. I can answer a lot. I cut Angus's food back. We're trying to get a little weight off for the holidays for him, too. And uh, now he's a full-fledged trasher. Aren't you? You're a bad dog. I have on shorts. Look at my legs from those cats. Oh, God, if something happens to me, they're going to think I have some form of leprosy. When will they learn not to use their claws? Here goes nothing. I know what I did wrong this week. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so exciting, especially near the holidays.